Hello everyone, we are about to start cutting out our countertop. We are going to cut out a space for the sink, for the stove, for the wood heater. It's super exciting, it's a little scary because you know, we only have one countertop to work with. And you've all met my dad before, but he is the cutting master, so he'll be the one doing all the dirty work. And I'm just gonna be holding a camera and that's a duck. So he will be doing all the dirty work and I will be doing all the camera work of equal importance, if you ask me. And here is the finished product, thanks to our dad, the chopping saw master. Now that the countertop is cut, it is time to start sanding it so everything is smooth and rounded and then seal it and stick it back in the truck. Look at it! Look how nice it is! Look at it. Nice. Update in about three seconds. We hooked up the propane and our stove works! Look at the stove! Look at the working stove! We used the cutout to put in the sink as an additional counter space when we're not using the sink. Ignore the cardboard. So to show you what we're doing right now, Cassidy is cutting little bitty holes in the insulation that we've already put on there. So we can put big abs of Loctite glue on this back. That is what we're going to mount the backer board to that the tile sits on. This is our tile. Ooh, pretty. And then we cut out about a half inch notch all the way around the countertop. So the backer board that the tile sits on just kind of falls right in that notch. And that way it doesn't have to get held down here at the bottom because the notch on the countertop is actually holding the backer board on. Then the pretty tile goes on. Ooh, ah. And then along with putting in this backer board to mount the tile to, I also finished welding this big wall right here. And that way this is going to be the wall for the shower once you're in the shower in this space right here. But it also kind of walls off the kitchen and makes it its own separate kind of room from the rest of the truck. Even though, you know, it's, I mean, it's all the same room. And the wall has these really convenient little slots in between the skeletons of the side of the truck that are really nice to run wires into. It makes uh, it makes it easy to fish these these wires that we have to have down behind the backer board, behind the countertop, and not really have to think about where they go. Then they all run up into here, into this channel, which is still a bundle of nonsense, but it'll get sorted out eventually. <laughs> Piece of tile. Da, da, da. 
Cassidy, which tile is your favorite? Like, piece? Yes. Well, collectively I like them all. But if I had to choose, probably this little one or this little one. <laughs> so we are about to drill a hole in the roof that the chimney for our tiny little wood fireplace, our wood burning fireplace. This is the chimney. The whole roof is that is that diamond plate with all the texture and the knurls on it and the gasket that goes on the under out of the chimney is this just normal rubber high heat gasket so it'll have a hard time sealing on the diamond plate so we're gonna go up there and grind off all the little diamonds of the diamond plate it'll be a timonless plate you know it's actually kind of dark up here to be drilling holes, I could use some extra light. I can give you more light. So we are almost finished with the installation of the wood furnace. That is so crazy. I wonder if the people who made this fire truck ever thought that somebody would light a fire in it. Probably not. They also probably didn't think anybody would turn it into a house either, so. Or a giraffe, like I've always wanted to be. So we decided to build all of our shelves with galvanized pipe and black iron, which we are then going to also spray paint with hammered paint because it looks cool. But anyway, they're gonna look super cool, super industrial. And these are all of our equipment for building the shelf. And then you'll see it come to life. You were standing there, you bravely led me. I could wait a million years or more. We're building these boxes right now and the back is actually going to get screwed into the wall. That's what it holds it, but it will give the appearance that the shelves are just kind of floating there with the pipes running through these holes. So the back that holds it gets screwed. That way it's really strong for the part that's actually holding it, but the front and the sides just get nailed in. It's a cleaner look and you don't see screws all down the sides and the front. They don't need the pipes that run through them to support them, but it'll look super cool. Playing any, playing any games. We are about to install the ceiling in the fire truck. This is a big deal. This is a very big deal because currently, and a bunch of hanging lights just kind of stuffed up there in the roof, you know, swinging around as you drive. And that whole sheet of FRP or fiberglass reinforced plastic will actually stick to the roof of the fire truck and that will be our ceiling. Yes, stick to the roof of the fire truck. We put strips of this double-sided tape. Um, it's super strong. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it falling down. And if the whole double-sided tape sticky thing doesn't actually end up working, well, you know, screw it. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. It's hard to be this real. We can play our favorite song. Dancing chilling all night long. With you, I feel. With you, I feel so 
this is the last light. I don't have a fuse. <laughs> but it works, I promise. Stupid light! So, today is the day. We finally get to take off this plastic off our couch, which is a huge deal because this is like the very last step. Because you have to have plastic if there's nails going into walls and metal coming out. But now we take it off. One, two, are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, just kidding. How about now? Oh no. I love you. I found my heart again. You were standing there. You bravely let me in. I could wait a million years or more until you came knocking at my door.